All right, according to Mike McCarthy, Blake Jarwin is near return, and I can't wait to see Jarwin out there. Uh, I get it. Schultz been holding it down, but I think that with a change of pace type of tight end could bring a little spark to the team. Not saying that Jarwin is worlds and worlds ahead of Schultz. I think those two guys have similar skill set. Uh, but I believe that Dak Prescott could be a little bit comfortable getting the ball out to Jarwin out in space. And then you can reintroduce the 12 personnel package that can give teams a little fit here and there as it relates to matchup concerns. Now, Cowboys been utilizing Jarwin as the uh, underneath guy as well as a guy that can take it vertically up the seam. Now, all of those plays plays a major role within the confines of this offense. I believe that that's how uh, your edge guys as it relates to the wide receivers like Amari Cooper and CeeDee Lamb on the edge uh, can get open, especially if they fool around and try to <laughs> roll coverage their way. And, and now you got a guy that can take it in the middle of the field to create some spacing for your quarterback as well as some spaces for your running back. Before Blake Jarwin went down or what have you, uh, the Cowboys were averaging north of 120 yards a game. And it was ranked fourth overall. So hopefully with a guy with some wheels under his legs, you know, Jarwin, he's not slow footed. And you can get some reemergence of the offense being back at his peak. Now, another thing to play into that is also the front five. They must protect the quarterback. That's something that you can't sneeze on. The front five must protect the quarterback. And also the running game must return in order for you to win playoff games. In the playoffs, you must play good defense as well as get good running situations. You can't be pass happy. Everything condenses and the film study goes up because teams can focus in and know that everything is sudden death. So, with the news of Blake Jarwin re-entering the scene, we hope, we hope that he can get his playing legs up under him and get things going. Now, there will be a time spell with that. I don't know how many snaps they would give him. But even if it's just minimal snaps with Schultz, because Schultz is showing his tail off, you know how that goes. Even if it's just minimal snaps, I want this guy to be a vertical threat in the middle of the field. And I believe that tall target, sure hand catcher, all of those things plays a major role, Cowboy Nation. And we should see, we should see some more explosive power with this offense now that you got the mismatch situation with Blake Jarwin. Now, will he be right at 70 or 80 or 90 or 100 percent? No one knows until we see Blake Jarwin out there on the field. I want to know your thoughts, Cowboy Nation. I want to know how you guys feel of Blake Jarwin re-entering back into the NFL finally uh, coming off of a hip injury hope all is well with him and of course he was on the C19 list a couple of weeks back as well we hope all is well can't wait to see him out there on the field and on top of that let's not sleep on Schultz because Schultz one of the guys too that been remarkable for this team he's been the leading uh, receiver as it relates to targets and as well as receptions in the previous game and, and some of the other games. So hopefully Schultz can continue to do his thing and now we can sprinkle in Jarwin. He can be more of a vertical threat and we can keep Schultz underneath. That's been my time. I really thank you all for yours. And remember, you're listening to nothing but the best. Go Cowboys. Cowboys.